Imagine how you would feel if you threw a birthday party for your child and no one showed up. That happened to a little boy in St. Cloud. He is autistic, but that's not where the story ends. Eric Sandoval shows us how an entire community made it a birthday he won't forget. This little boy's name is Glenn Barati, and his mom tells us she invited his entire class here at Mill Creek Elementary School to his birthday party. He was turning six years old. The day of the party, though, nobody came. Just to see the look on his face killed me inside. Ashley Barati says her son Glenn, who has autism, was so devastated when he found out no one was coming to his birthday party, he refused to smile. Thinking she failed him, she says she turned to Facebook, where she wrote one post about how badly she felt for him. She says almost immediately, complete strangers started responding, and soon kids and their parents started arriving with gifts. Her post also caught the eye of the Osceola County Sheriff's Office, who sent their own gift, a flyover from the sheriff's helicopter. One of our friends put him up on his shoulders, and Glenn just smiled the whole time and waved. It was amazing. The county's gift rolled over to the next week when sheriff's cars, police dogs, fire trucks, and more all paid him a visit at the same time. And at first, we got to the stop sign by our house, and Glenn was like, the fire truck's at our house. I said, it's okay, they're there to tell you happy birthday. The deputies had also pulled their own money and bought Glenn gifts. Barati says the response from her one post on Facebook has almost been overwhelming, but she says it's restored her faith in her higher power and the human spirit. The amazingness of everybody coming together for somebody, somebody they didn't even know. A kid that didn't have anybody come to his birthday party just... It, warmed my heart. It's been a week since this party. We asked his mom if she's heard from any of the kids or their parents about why they didn't come to the party. She says she hasn't heard a thing. In Osceola County, Eric Sandoval, Local 6.